transit Neptune in Pisces sextal natal moon in Capricorn. You can't take opportunities to improve your domestic life with greater comfort and imagination. Family relationships are stable and therapeutic. You have a good intuitive understanding of those around you and the public. This period you are able to actualize your ideas and create a structure upon which you can build. Others will place their trust in you and you can use your ideas to help people in organizations and gain recognition. When transit Neptune is sextal your natal moon, it increases sensitivity and compassion for people and social conditions of your environment. You cannot express your perceptions with words, although you understand everything emotionally. The imagination is very active and also the artistic sense, which must be reflected in some way so that it does not remain only in daydreams. This transit can lead to an extremely idealized relationship, with a sense of nurturing and giving to the other person. Regardless of your gender, protective maternal tendencies appear. Make sure the other person wants to take care of you before letting yourself get carried away by your idealized feelings. Still, you can better distinguish fantasy from reality during this transit, and you will discover that your illusions about another person are not so unreal. It gives great strength to heal wounds of the past and provokes a great spiritual love that, unless another transit contradicts it, can be more platonic than physical. It stimulates all your psychic ability, intuition and spirituality, expressing itself through poetry or other artistic means. Love and Private Life your emotional world is more open now than before. You feel compassion when you see someone else suffering and close to tears when another person is especially happy. You are also more receptive to music than you were before and easily become ecstatic. It is easier than usual to fall in love during such phases of life. If you are in an established relationship, make time for common interests and take steps to ensure that you do not lose your memories of when you had just fallen in love. Do not allow everyday life to erode your love, not for a single day. If this happens, you would find yourself longing for a different love. If you are single, you will obviously be quite happy to fall in love and enjoy the experience. Even the prospect that it would be very easy for you to fall in love now confirms and intensifies your current emotional state. Is it possible that you were simply not aware of this before? But if you think about it, you will feel it and move through life with a greater sense of hope. If you resonate with this reading, don't forget to subscribe.